What is up everyone? It is Japan video number, I don't even know. We've been, <laughs> we've been here for, how long has it been, 10 days? We've been in Japan, I think, for 12. 12 days, yeah. this is wild. So this is gonna be the first video with no Ebisu footage. We've literally been at Ebisu for the last week and a half doing nothing but driving, having a blast. It's been magical to say the least, but we have much more of the trip to go. We have about four days, four and a half days of being in the Tokyo area, area doing touristy things and just having some fun. I don't really know what we have planned. This is in focus. Uh, since I've been piggybacking Grant's uh, little holiday here, I, I've just been winging it, so we'll go along for the ride and see what happens. But. Before I did leave Ebisu, I filmed a little bit, looking at the car and kind of doing a uh, overview of what happened to my car after 10 days of Ebisu. So if you guys want to check it out, here you go. <laughs> All right guys, so I figured uh, after nine days of drifting Ebisu, I'd do a quick walk around and show the carnage of what nine days of aggressively driving Ebisu looks like. So when we first got the car, you guys saw how absolutely clean the thing was. It was kind of like a shame at how nice it was. And it wasn't that I was looking for a nice one. Um, I actually was, I, I kind of wanted a more beat up one because I want to worry about it. I got offered this, what was a really nice one, um, and it was the same price as all the destroyed ones. So shout out to Mike Racing for making that happen for me because it was just a treat to have a nice car. So, boom. For some reason, the driver's side survived pretty damn well. Like, look at this thing. So we had like bumps and scrapes on the fenders that were already here. The whole side of the car, not bad. I wore through the paint because I, I used really big wheels the first couple days because I needed to because I had tires. And then the quarter panel got a little wrinkled because I had a big hot entry once and we kind of bounced off each other a little bit. The silver hides it well, right? The biggest damage I think of the whole trip was probably the front. So as you guys can tell, it probably doesn't look that bad in camera. Uh, it's a little smushed in right here. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I actually pulled it out. It got so smushed in my radiator broke. I thought you did that drifting. No, that's the thing that sucks, right? So, all right, so the, the two, <laughs> the most damage I did to the car was not drifting, it was in grid, I rear-ended Adam. And then when I rear-ended Adam, another car rear-ended me and just like <laughs> solidified the damage there. A lot of people going, you know, like real fast pace, yeah. and if you guys don't jump on each other up the hill, you get lost. And it was a big, like, Adam lunge break, I lunge break, hit him, and then the car behind me put him into him. <laughs> So that's where the rear rear got scuffed up, but the, the rear has a bumper beam, and so it took oh, it well. Yeah. But the fronts, there's no rebar, right? There's there's nothing. It's just straight intercooler. So and it didn't damage your intercooler. So I don't know how. The headlights still a little pushed in, but at least, I didn't, it, at least it didn't damage them. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Exactly. Mm. So that same crash was the front and the rear. Yeah, all in one, mm. all exclusive. Mm. Wow. It wasn't you know crazy aggressive tandems or you know. All these transfers of yeah, of, <laughs> dude. Okay, if you look at these scrapes right here on my front lip, this is from me transferring so close to Grant. His exhaust was hitting me. That's how aggressive our transfers were. I, I got to admit, Jimmy's driving was through the roof this Thank week. You. Yeah, honestly, it was freaking. I appreciate that. It was, that means a lot coming from you. Honestly. It was nuts. The fenders got a little roughed up just from uh, you know the car having the big pokey angle kit, and if you go off track or whatever, the car bottoms out and it kind of pulls the fenders whatever yeah, right. little self-made flares yeah this was the side of the fun right I don't know what made people made this side my target but I, I think there's a big target I can't see on this thing <laughs> because everyone aimed for this side but I did wash the car so it does look a lot, a lot nicer but this is just wheel marks but these are all tasteful right because yeah. a lot of them aren't like big dents they're kind of just like you know, slap and tickles as we, we keep calling it. <laughs> the famous slap and tickles. The famous slap and tickles. I'm, I'm a little bummed there isn't more up here, to be honest. I needed this balanced out. Adam and Grant just really liked my pee <laughs> It looks honestly really nice on camera. It does. It is magic hour. And then the only last really stupid uh, damage, once again, the biggest damage on the car wasn't even these crazy aggressive tandems. We were doing tandems, we were bouncing the cars off of each other. No damage, it was when, today, <laughs> I didn't drive at all the last day because I just wasn't feeling good today. I just wanted to hang out, I wanted to see a lot of the cars, just like talk with a lot of people and just watch some drifting. I took it out on the skid pad for one lap because we were there helping Randy. I did a donut, another drifter hopped in for to do a tandem with me and my intercooler piping blew off. And since it's not speed density, the car shut down and he just drove straight into my quarter panel. <laughs> I kicked it out already 
Oh, but, chip the paint too? Yeah, but now it has a typical JZX wrinkled panel. Uh, Start of the process. Damn it. But it's just hilarious that like out of all that crazy aggressive driving that me and Grant Adam did, and like the eight car trains of Ishii, like where it, things just got so hairy, it happened doing a donut and in grid. <laughs> Every time anything like bad really happens, always something stupid. Can I jump in? Yeah, come on. Yeah. I was showing him uh, the breakdown of um, the damage after nine days of drifting at Oh, nothing basically. In terms of Ebisu drift cars, this thing is still a great four. You did, did you do Nishi trains? Yeah. Then this what? is fine. This is perfect. Because <laughs> you saw how wild the trains were. I was in it. And I, I came out, I was like, yeah, this is great. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. This is not for me. Like, no, this is perfect. This is why you have a JZX and IP suit. This is exact clear. Because you can do nine days up to two weeks. I have done probably one of the most amount of laps in my JZX. I was here for like three months. Jesus. Bro, my car is good, fam. <laughs> good. <laughs> Once it's not good, you just put a fiberglass on it. Yeah, yeah. And that's it. Or you, in front of you, you just do the Abyssia spec. You put the pole in there. You shake it around. And you can Bro, JZX is the best. The interior, I mean, it hasn't changed. It's boom, same, same old. Gauges still work. Love that. How many suspension things did you go through? Uh, went through three tie rods. Yeah. And I needed to replace those tension rods, but I did it. Oh. Oh, so you got them there ready to go? Yeah, there's two tie rods in the back seat for next time too. Yeah. Not too bad. The, That's pretty good. I broke one front wheel, kind of chewed up these new ones a little bit, but it's it's fine, right? I have six. Six? They're all toge. Got that 360 camera on the back, so yeah. I'll show you the footage where like, basically if you go like this much angle on your JZX, you're hitting both sides, front and back. Oh, 100%. Yeah. If you want to see Melky pull some wheels up on toge, <laughs> I'll put his channel in the description. So I had to do one up quick overall walk around so you guys could see, but I am so proud of this car. I'm so proud of me. This thing held up so good. I did nothing besides, well, I didn't even do an oil change this week. You know how awful I feel for not doing an oil change? Nine days of drifting with no oil change. Don't tell me that, Melky. I don't want to know that. <laughs> Dude, it still looks immaculate, so. Many, many more trips to come to smack this thing up. But for my first trip, I think it went pretty damn well. So for now, let's get this thing parked and left here and uh, move on to the next adventure. It wasn't obvious this car is staying here at Ebisu. Uh, there's lots here that are maintained to store your car. It's actually fairly cheap. Fairly cheap. Fairly yeah. cheap, con considering how much storage is in the US. Pretty cheap. It's yeah, pretty cheap. Yeah, so yeah. Um, the boys down at SideX are taking after, the, she'll look after the car for me uh, when I, it's being stored here and then I give them a heads up that I'm coming down, they're gonna take the car. They fluid flush it, maintain it, do whatever mods I wanna do to it, uh, make sure it's ready to go. They drop back off and boom, I'm here. Drifting again, happy days. It's a tool and it's meant to do its job and it's staying at it's the track. Staying here, this car is gonna it's, it's gonna die in Japan. Like, it's gonna die here. Like you yeah. would never import your never. Never. Nope. Nope. Def <laughs> definitely not mine. My car is <laughs> fucking whooped. So it'll be an Ebisu car as long as it looks too nice, Jim. I gotta get this side next time. I know, look at this. Like, especially <laughs> after I washed it, like it's farewell and goodbye. And I will miss you. She treated me good so girl. good. Good girl. Good girl. She treated me so good this week. So I have a long list for the boys to do when I'm gone. And the Sidex guys will get it done. And uh we show up for spring mod or fall, fall mod yeah. And it'll be good to go. It'll be good to go. Yeah. So there she is. See you in a couple months. It looks too clean to be down here. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> but for now, let's fold my laundry and get on the road. I'm missing a sock. Guys, we have officially been to Tokyo. It was like a four hour drive. 
I was too far from Tokyo, but Tokyo is, um, it's massive. It's, I didn't even realize how big it is. We are in the Shibuya uh, region, district. I don't know what to classify it, to be honest, but uh, literally just driving like a few blocks. It is a dense place and they use every single square foot of it. It's very clean, which is nice. You know, I, I spent a lot of time in New York City and uh, it, it's definitely not even within 2% as clean and nice as this place. And Grant is having a wonderful time trying to back this thing in. Stop. Someone back here. Keep going, keep going, you have room. <laughs> I don't think that's actually supposed to fit anything but a K car. So before we explore, uh, let's go see what the Airbnb looks like. It's tiny. This is really tiny. It makes our K car minivan look big. Oh, no, no shoes, no shoes, no, no shoes. shoes. Oh, f this is gonna take a Grant. lot of work. <laughs> we weren't built for this. This is my floor? Oh, this is lovely. Oh, very nice. Do I fit in the bed? Oh no, the bed's longer than it looks. I fit? I didn't think I was gonna fit between the walls. So I've never been in a house that's configured like this in my life. So. Let's check it out. Entrance, bathroom, okay. First set of stairs, super steep. Got the little living room, first on the second story. Kitchen, look at this, this is wild. Urinal in the kitchen. Next set of stairs. It's a loft. What? Go up. All right. Oh, yeah, there's a bed up here. Well, kind of. Brush your teeth while you're laying in bed, look. What's Celsius to... <laughs> Privacy. Colette and Adam. Yep. <laughs> no, there's the stairs. The rooftop. Look how cool this is. It's cool that you can go on the roof here. I've never smelt smells like this before. I don't even know what I'm smelling, but it's cool. It's different. Wild thing is we're in a big city. I know we're in like, the, there's way more parts of this. This is the smallest fraction ever, but it's like silent. There's no one yelling. No whistles blowing. You don't even hear the train, the highway, nothing. It's just like it's peaceful. I know there's gonna be some really loud parts of the city. I mean, it is a city, but for still being in such a densely populated area, I'm very impressed. And I am definitely gonna be falling down these stairs throughout this week. All right, so Clint, how, do you do it like this? What? I've never filmed on my iPhone before. I do the selfie mode sometimes. Okay. I can, if I'm like pointing to things, but that's better quality. Okay. So is it okay? So. Uh, we, run over yeah, yeah, so we're walking to dinner right now and I just wanted to film this. I don't have my camera because it's so big and bulky, but look at this multi-car storage. Last time we were here, we were in a hotel yeah. that has, you park your car in this room and you get out and it's this platform that spins around and takes your car away. So that, that's actually real. I thought that was just like in movies. No, it was real. It was <laughs> like that probably goes underground, huh? I think I need to bring one of these home for DJ. Wait until we find one that's got like three piece wheels on the back. They're around. No way. Hi, right, Adam. Where are we going? We are going to Dake Onsen. No, we're not. We came from Dake. <laughs> we are going to Ebisu Circuit. No, uh, we are going to Shibu. I keep it safe. Shibuya. We are crossing, which is like from the famous Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. Did you know it actually was filmed there and that was all done with uh, CGI. CGI? Really? Yep. Insert the clip here. <laughs> Dustin and I drank beer last trip we were here and just walked back and forth over Shibuya Crossing like 15 times. Why? It's an experience. You'll okay. See. You'll see. The grant just got locked up. It's funny how it saves the energy of not closing and will only close if you try to break the law. <laughs> Uh, pretty wild to be here right now, and it's uh, I think it's Monday night, still popping. Oh my god, there's so many people. They're doing it, Grant. 
I They're know. crossing. I think it's every like 45 seconds or something. What? This is the corner. Just. This is this is where Han died, bro. <laughs> Family. Just like that, a second later, cars are just rolling through. This is it. Proper full tourist experience right now. I love it. I don't know if this beats episode yet, but it's still pretty cool. So we just realized that it's Golden Week, which means that's why it's so big. It's Monday night. It should be pretty calm here. It's popping. But Golden Week is holiday week, baby. Holiday week, baby, for us too. The convenient thing is, me, Adam, and Grant are way taller than most people, so it's really easy not to lose them. <laughs> the wild thing is, there's just like random small, it's like Narnia, there's like random small doors, and you're like, ah, I wonder what's in there. You walk in there, and there's like a whole village of bars. It's like. I've never seen so much square footage used by people in my life. And we keep turning down like these little halls and like these little alleys and just ending up in spots like this. Drinks in a box. I'm really disappointed we didn't have to share with a straw. Come by. Come by. All right, this is pretty cool. It's no rare JDM, but it's got some style to it. Oh, we got the Blitz sticker. What else do we got? I don't really know much of those brands. It's the first police car I've ever seen since being here. Day two here in Shibuya. Shibuya. Sh Shibuya. 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 Uh, we were having fun and uh, Adam gave me something that had more alcohol in it than I thought. So. Um, that was Grant, whatever. But uh, day two here and we're just being tourists and having fun. And uh, we just went in this giant Starbucks. Look at this. Three, oh my God. Three story Starbucks. Wild. But I just wanted to actually film these. I've been seeing these things everywhere. I don't really know what they're called or what the purpose is, but they're really fun and I need to get one of these for the shop. Adam, what are those giant fish that are always hanging on things? The koi fish. It's a symbol of good luck and fortune. Is that a fact? I just made that up. Yeah. That sounds right though. It does. <laughs> yeah. Look at this like drainage system here in Japan. America can never. There'd be like four city bikes, a couple shopping carts, and a whole Kia just down there. It would just be trash and muck and like here it's like all the drainage goes into this whole little river here and it's spotless. Japan is so clean and how often do you see trash cans? There's none. That's yeah. not the pr that's the worst thing about Japan. Literally <laughs> the worst thing about Japan is that you will always have to carry on your trash as there's Oh, no my trash pockets can. have been filled with trash yeah. the whole trip. But somehow people are respectful enough to not just throw it out. They they camouflage the trash cans. They must think that like trash cans are unsightly because there was one next to the vending machine when we were down on Shibuya yeah. and I passed it three times because I had all the trash. Or they they're hella small. No, 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 it was it was built into the wall. Oh Jesus! But like, so I had the the four Kansei boxes took me a week to throw out at Ebisu because oh yeah, I would rip them up and throw away a couple pieces <laughs> every day. <laughs> This is nuts. I know it's a holiday week, so I don't know if it's always this busy, especially for being a Tuesday, but wow. Crazy name. Oh, this one's a banger. You think it's a repop or actually a classic? I mean, it looks like, it looks like it's been washed a lot. It's so hard not to buy a million trinkets, isn't it? Really hard, actually. The fact that we'd have to carry them is what's preventing me from Oh, 100%, stuff. that's 100%. Piss, I'm holding this bag right now. I know, it sucks. I miss Steph because I, what I do is I usually buy something and I go, hey Steph. Yeah, we gotta get something for her and then, then just put it in her bag. <laughs> Every dude does that. If you yeah. say you don't, you're lying. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> this thing is super, super cool.
Well, good morning, everyone. I am here at Adam's GC. Uh, I get to drive this thing around today, which is really cool. We are ending the video here. I know it was mainly just kind of like B-roll around Shibuya. Um, we ended up just kind of doing like a tourist day all together. It was really nice just hanging out, not doing much. We were kind of in like the shopping districts and it was really just like all of that fashion stuff was very just like American vintage. It was like kind of wild how it was like all American stuff, which I don't know if it's because it was a tourist area or because it was like the hype beast area and like American culture, I guess is probably popular there, which is like their culture is popular in America. And it's kind of funny how the roles are reversed, but um, it was interesting. But it's been nice kind of just having a few days to just kind of like unwind and not really do much thinking and just kind of hang out with the boys, especially after being at Ebbets too. Go, go, go for the last like two weeks. So today for the next video, I'm driving to Adam's GC down to Samet shop and we're gonna go hang out, check out his stuff there. We're gonna go visit like that massive up garage there. Uh, see a couple other shops and hopefully stop at Daikaku tonight, that crazy car meet space. We'll see what happens. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and saying farewell to the chaser until fall mat series and uh, I can't wait to get back so for now thank you guys for watching you know the deal like comment subscribe stay tuned for more content we'll see you guys very shortly it's sad because I